This was a game where the bench really had to step up, and it seemed like everyone kind of did little things. Can you talk about that and how much you were kind of... Uh, yeah, Coach Shaw always talks to us about the little things and how important they are. And so we just tried to come in there and do everything we could. Are you guys more of a second half team? You've had, I think, 45 plus in the second half each of the past four games. It seems like it, but we need a, we need a, uh, we need a sustain that performance tomorrow for both halves in order to beat Kentucky. You go up against Kenny Boynton a lot in practice, I'm guessing. Just what's it like when he's scoring that way and what he sees? Is that something that you see a lot in practice? It's usually I go out herb in practice, but. I mean, they're both great scorers, so whenever I see that in the game, it just it gets me excited because I know that we're going to be playing better than they're hitting. What about his shots down the stretch? How much did it energize you guys when, when you hit that three and stuff? Uh, he's a clutch player, so whenever he hits that, it always energizes us. We came out there, we played hard, we ran the plays, we defended, you know, we kept the guys lifted up with energy and passion, you know, and um, we were just able to, to spread like wildfire to the older guys too. Talk about helping out that kid with the cuff there. <laughs> oh yeah, I felt bad for him. He spilled all this drink on his lap, so I was just asking if he was okay. <laughs> Are you guys more of a second half team? In the past four or five games, you've had forty plus. I don't want to time to figure it out, or uh, uh, we we don't want to be considered a, a, a second half team. We want to be considered a forty minute complete game kind of team, and we just need to make sure that we come out with that the right right effort and not come out seeing how hard we need to play and see how hard the other team is playing. Because, you know, like playing against Kentucky, that's not going to work tomorrow. We just need to come out there ready to play the whole game. Yeah, I mean, it's not intentional. It's, uh, it's definitely something we don't want to do. And it's definitely when we play a team of, you know, Kentucky's caliber, you know, we can't afford to get off to a slow start like that or let them go on runs like that. When Billy took you out, you know, during that stretch, that long stretch, in the front, was he angry or what, what was it? Or was it just to give you guys rest? It was to give us rest. You know, the game, I don't think it stopped until 12 minutes into the game. So it was eight minutes straight that we were out there. And uh, we were exhausted. You know, it's our second game playing in uh, two days in the highest level of basketball. And it was their third game. So I can imagine how they feel. But, you know, it's just uh, us people, you got to be tough and fight the fatigue. And then what about you know, the contributions you guys got from your bench, it seemed like, at least defensively, they kind of brought you guys back. It was huge. You know, Casey Praley gave us huge lifts. You know, just active, getting in passing lanes, offensive rebounds, even knocked down a three. You know, he played, you know, really good. And same goes for Patrick and Murph and Scotty. All those guys really contributed. How do you feel about having Kentucky? You know what? It, it, I think it was irrelevant, you know, whoever we had to play. You know, obviously no one that we had to play them now. We just got to move past tonight and, and move on. We're just, you know, happy that we're in a situation to be playing for another championship.